I want to talk about vision in just a minute, but I want to go back to a phrase you shared before, just before we hit record, which was something to the effect of we are, your team says we're clubbing black swans like on a daily basis. Can, uh, <laughs> can you explain, explain what that means? Yeah. I mean, that was one I came up with, well, you know, and I think it was probably May or June, 2020, you know, we're all, we've all talked about the pandemic and everything enough. We've, beating that one but god you know we had projects stopping we had you know and then you went from you know okay projects are coming back and now material prices are going through the roof and now you can't get permits and you know it was just kind of one of those things like what what's the next fire that's going to happen today right and and so we kind of nicknamed it around the office just clubbing black swans on a daily basis because it felt like you know all of these things that are supposed to happen maybe in your life of these random you know events in the financial crisis and all this other stuff were happening about every other day and uh you're just you're just trying to get by and survive and uh you know so that's how we kind of came up with that around the office in the construction industry the default is to have more of an, an auditor or negative mentality because we're always looking for what's wrong right always right looking for what's missing in this scope of work, what's what the owner's trying to get over on us in the contracts, what this guy's not doing, what's not happening, looking for deficiencies, right? And then on a macro scale, you start looking at, well, well shit, when's, what's going to happen next? When's the next shoe going to drop? And it can put you in a pretty negative mindset where you're just constantly waiting for bad things to happen. And maybe you only see bad things. How do you how did you keep your team moving forward with with all those black swans? And for those of you who aren't familiar, like what the hell's a black swan? It's like Chris Voss talked about. I actually there was a book called Black Swans. There are these rare events because most people think swans are all white, but there are some black swans. And a, a black swan is this event that comes out of nowhere, like COVID nineteen. Uh, the Russia invading Ukraine and all these other crazy things happening, a shipping container getting stuck in the Suez Canal or wherever that was. Those are black swan events. So when all of these black swans are attacking you guys and you're clubbing them every other day, how do you, as the leader, keep the team somewhat positive and, and focused on moving forward? I don't, for some reason, I had a comfort level internally that we were going to get through it. I mean, I had plenty of sleepless nights. I had plenty of very, very stressful days, plenty of, of, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? How, you know, how is this going to work out? Um, and, and, you know, really went to the, to the core values and just had this kind of faith that we were going to get through it. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know how, you know, and just said, hey, and tomorrow we wake up and we put on our boots and we go back to work. And we're going to keep doing that every day as long as it'll allow us to do it, right? And at some point, things will change and and it'll go, uh, it'll go the way that we want it, right? And I think the changing in the strategy, the changing in the vision helped us keep that kind of positive mentality because we started seeing rewards from it and we started getting the projects that we want. And we started working with the people. I mean, our clients before were great. We still do a lot of work for the, with some of them too, but we all got a lot happier, I felt like, because we were we were chasing projects that internally fulfill, you know, fulfill us, right? Um, and, and that's rewarding in itself. And things just kind of slowly, slowly continue to pick up speed. I mean, we still have plenty of challenges and everything, but, um, you know, I just think I had to, I had to show that, you know, that kind of calm and collective leadership between the team and check in with everybody and make sure they're doing okay. And, hey, we'll get through this and it's going to be tough. And, you know, and it, you just kind of got to have faith in, in the whole entire process that it's going to play out. And if you think positive, usually positive things will happen. If you think negative, usually negative things will happen. I don't know if it's just how it, 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 it attracts itself, but that was, you know, it was very, very hard for me when we were dealing with a lot of challenges, but I knew I had to come into work and put on a smile and, and you know, pump guys up and, and hide the internal challenges and, 
to be a leader to to have that faith that we were going to continue to execute. 